Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything in between, welcome back to another Or Systems Dev Diary, Dev Diary entry number four. As always, I am joined by the man, the myth, the legend in the same shirt as the last entry because we totally didn't record these back to back, Jonah Havel. Jonah, how are you doing today again? Hey, uh, I'm doing great, Robert. I, I feel like I haven't seen you in ages, man. It's good to be back on the show. You haven't aged a bit, and I feel like it's been a long time since we talked. You know, I, I have a few foundations and creams that I actually bought off of the forge. So, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I don't actually know if they sell any any creams on there, so I don't want to get in trouble. Not but yet. Before we, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> that's that's the update we want. Uh, bring it back in. Bring it back in. Jonah, we, we came to talk for a specific reason that we mentioned at the end of our entry uh, so long ago in episode three, and that is for one reason, Osiris Protocol or Systems um, entry into NFT gaming. But before we dive in, I kind of want to go about this the same way that we went uh, when we talked about tokens um, and just have you give me a brief overview uh, because I totally know what NFT games are, but for the people at home that don't, Let's make sure we get them on the same page. Uh, so why don't you just give us a little bit of a background on what exactly is NFT gaming? Okay, so a non-fungible token is is a, a, a token that is, is unique. So uh, as opposed to Bitcoin, every coin is the same, right? That NFT is, is unique. It's not like the other NFTs that are on the contract, right? So NFT gaming is gaming that's that's built on the blockchain using non-fungible tokens right the what what's in the market right now is a whole lot of um, a whole lot of side scrollers and card games which on the surface nfts are perfectly suited to card games heck i don't i don't know that there is another low hang more low hanging fruit than a card game for nfts uh but but we at Or Systems, we're ready to take that up a notch. So we have uh, we have developed a first-person shooter where uh, the equipment, the skins, etc., it's all it's all blockchain-based. Like uh, you can purchase the NFTs to have a weapon, a certain weapon, whatever. Okay, then whenever you're done playing with that game you, or playing with that weapon, uh, you can sell it. Okay, and so you end up with rare collectible weapons, uh, skins uh signature moves whatever okay you you collect those and you can sell those collections for profit if you so desire and i'm not promising you that i'm not a financial advisor and that is not the intent i'm just saying that uh, it's within the realm of possibility so so you guys are developing a first person shooter not, not a card game, and not, like you said, nothing wrong with card games, nothing wrong with side scrollers, but you guys have uh, have the cojones to develop a first person shooter. Surely, surely this is just a PVE game, like a Call of Duty campaign or something like that. This isn't PVP, is it? Yeah, no, it's absolutely PVP. Um, yeah, and so we, we actually, we support cross-platform uh, PVP. Uh, you can choose which of our globally separated servers you want to play on if you're from australia and you want to play in the united states uh play against some yanks here we are we're ready um but but yeah you know it, it we're trying to take the state of the art of nft gaming to the next level that is absolutely crazy and i mean I would say I would say kind of what differentiates it from other other games on the market, but with the way that you're describing this, what makes it the same to any of the games on the market? This sounds this sounds pretty revolutionary. We don't have million dollar budgets, and we haven't had ten years to develop this game. Okay, this is not going to be a triple A title like Call of Duty. Okay, uh, it's done. We're ready to release it. Uh, we're actually waiting on one other piece of technology, but anyway, um, it, it's a it's a proof of concept. It proves that the OR system works, right? The token the token is integrated. You you can spend token in in game. You can spend cryptocurrency. Okay, you have a wallet in there, an actual wallet, 
uh, you can you can purchase NFTs from the game and you can use those in the game, right? Via the Forge, um, and and it's all integrating the SDK, right? So it gets all those those access points from the SDK. And I mean, that sounds amazing, Jonah, because I love what that implies for the ore system um, and the future of gaming on it. But I don't want to speak out of my mouth. I'd rather I'd rather hear it from you. What does that mean um, coming up next on the ore system when it comes to game development? So hopefully with any luck, it means that some more studios take notice and say, hey, you know what? I'd, I'd like to integrate the SDK into my project because I would love to get into NFT gaming, but uh, I don't have the money to pay uh, someone to learn blockchain. I don't. I don't want. I don't have a blockchain engineering specialist. Uh, we've already done the work for you, and so the SDK en- encapsulates that, right? And and we're willing to work with you um, in in support, at, pending a support level agreement. Uh, we can work with individual studios and help them integrate into our ecosystem i mean all of this all of this sounds so so awesome jonah um from the game to the concept to the proof of concept to the future of gaming uh on on the or system one small question for you i want to get osiris protocol where where do i go to get it oh okay so in order to get osiris protocol You'll go to the uh, you'll go to the or forge. You'll purchase the Osiris Protocol NFT, okay? And with the NFT, you you download Osiris Protocol from the or Stealth Launcher. So so you guys have built out your own own launcher. Yeah yeah yeah. It's a it's comparable to to Steam or good old games or any of those those launchers. Yeah, it's uh except that it except that it by default uh, is blockchain based. That's it. So I have a whole litany of questions about what exactly the stealth launcher is and how you guys came up with that, but we will save that for a different day. Jonah, thank you so much for your time. By the time we have uh, our, our fifth and, and dare I say, dare I say final entry into the dev, into the or dev diary, uh, chain of uh chain of videos we will have a full understanding of what that stealth launcher entails and i think probably we'll have a change of clothes between now and then (laughs) let's hope so (laughs) thank you so much for your time uh today and uh we will be back in touch to talk about the stealth launcher thank you robert